friends. So today I thought that I would just pop on and have a discussion with you guys about being a traveling witch. So some of the things that I like to bring with me when I am out and about, when I am traveling, when I am just away from home generally, and also some tips alongside, um, alongside things I like to bring, but also having a discussion about things that you can connect with when you're out and about to embrace sort of those witchy vibes when you're maybe not feeling your most magical and you could do with a boost of energy and a pick-me-up. So let's just dive right in, shall we? So we're here, we're hanging out with um, sitting down now instead of walking around. And we are talking about traveling witch tips. We're talking about different things you can bring with you while you are out and about, while you are traveling. Now this doesn't have to be like vacation kind of focused traveling. It could just be visiting family. It could be being out for the day. It could be being out at work. So we're talking about things that are easy to bring with you on the go. And I wanted to kick off by talking about something which has actually become a everyday part of my spiritual practice, and that is crystals, but specifically in their uh, bracelet format. So I really love creating, I love crafting things. So I used to live around the corner from a Michaels, and a Michaels in North America is basically a big craft supply store, and they had just started offering crystal beads in their selection of jewelry making things and so I would be over there like no tomorrow hanging out having a look at the crystal beads seeing which ones were calling to me and then weaving them all together when I got home into a crystal bracelet and that's something that stuck with me over time as I continued to journey along my crystal path and along my crystal business when I was making bracelets consistently for the shop I found new places crystal wholesalers um, in Canada to get crystal beads from which I could then create bracelets out of so that kind of that's where the inspiration of the crystal bracelets started so even though I don't offer them in my shop anymore I actually still wear them all the time bracelets that I have made myself and you can see them all here this is like my Immelt con collection going on here we've got lava rock which I like for connecting with the energy of the moment Moment. I love working with lava rock and that is very much tied to where I am at this moment and also with the connection with fire and earth energies. I absolutely love that. And then the other guy over here is Howlite, which I really enjoy connecting with. It has a lot of self-care energies, which I find quite soothing for anxiety, for stressful days. Alongside uh, rose quartz hanging out over here. This one's a really matte light rose quartz actually and I got distracted playing with the bracelets and then I have uh, clear quartz wrap it up garnet and black onyx so this is basically my kind of imulk crystal feels so crystal bracelets really really easy to take with you wherever you go there's a lot of different crystal bracelets if you're not feeling crafty there's a ton of really awesome sellers on etsy who make crystal bracelets for crystal healing and they'll get into all of the different meanings and stuff behind the crystals i know because i was one of them and i absolutely adore making crystals when that was where my business was vibing. So then alongside crystal bracelets, my pendant is something that comes with me absolutely everywhere. The pendant is something that can be worn very easily. You don't have to have a pentacle. I do. It depends on whether you're in or out of the broom closet. But having these charms, having these magical vibes, these magical energies with you all of the time in a way that's like if if you don't notice it looks like I'm wearing a necklace and bracelets and if you're in the broom closet and you're still trying to figure out where and how you feel about expressing your spirituality like wearing a pentacle or what have you it does just look like jewelry so you don't need a lot of explanations which is really handy if you're not feeling a discussion on it which is absolutely cool because you don't have to say and describe your spirituality to everyone every single person you meet it it's something that i think can be very can be discussed when it 
feels called, like when you feel called to, you don't have to just launch into a conversation saying that you're pagan, saying that you're a witch, because you know what? You're still a human being and you're still you. And now we have gone on a complete aside. Oh my goodness. So the next tip is tarot cards. And I don't bring these with me everywhere I go. I usually bring them with when I'm gonna be away from home for a longer period of time. So if I'm just popping over to the grocery store, I don't usually have tarot cards in my handbag. But if I'm gonna be away from home for a couple days, if I'm traveling, visiting family, then I'll usually pop a small, easily, hell holdable deck into into my bag into my luggage or suitcase or whatever have you and one of the things that i find really handy for this is keeping an eye out for smaller decks so this is pam's vintage tarot and let's actually show you guys this up right wouldn't that be amazing you can see that like it actually fits in my hand really nicely which means it also fits in a bag really conveniently which is great when you're traveling because you don't want to be carrying a ton of stuff and it's really heavy and you're moving around and you guys get it so finding a smaller deck that you can bring with and you don't even have to necessarily be reading with them while you're out and about again they can act as as sort of this magical connection that that reminds you of your spiritual practice that keeps you feeling that you have this sort of anchor to your spirituality even when you're out and you're busy and you're and you're off and off and running so tarot cards very very handy to bring with if you're going to be away from home for a little period of time or you just sort of want your favorite deck there for that for that good vibe and energy so literally right as I put my tripod away, I remembered something else I wanted to chat about and that was music. Music is something you can bring with you absolutely anywhere you go. You can pop in your headphones, put on a witchy podcast, put on tarot podcasts, listen to some meditative music, things that will kind of get those witchy vibes flowing when there's maybe a lot of traffic noises or what have you going on. So I just wanted to add that in because I think it's a very important thing to have something that you can listen to that you can sort of allow you to connect with witchy feels whether you're commuting or or out and about when there's a lot of other noises going on around you. So let's get back to the main video now shall we? Now this one isn't exactly like a witchy tool the same way that crystals and tarot is, but I almost always bring reusable bags when I'm out and about. And this for me, it ties into my green witchcraft spiritual practice because when I have those reusable bags, I'm a whole lot less likely to use plastic bags. And this has become a really big thing for me as I try and reduce plastic in my home and my life as much as possible to contribute and help to the environment and all of that, that good stuff. Reducing plastic is is a it's a challenge but i think it's a really good challenge so for me i actually really feel magical vibes when i know that i have reusable bags with me that i can bring wherever i may be going and i know i don't have to buy a plastic bag because they aren't free here i'm not sure in other countries if they are still free when you go grocery shopping but here you pay for them it's like 10 or 20 cents depending on which province you're in and let, while that's not a whole lot of a big deal, I'd just rather not use them as much as possible. And even though occasionally I'll forget to bring enough bags or whatever, most of the time I have my bags and that makes me feel good. It makes me feel magical. And if you've been hearing like a rattling noise, I realize that I've actually been shuffling cards this whole time. So let's just draw a card because apparently that's where we're rolling right now. Ooh, we have the uh, page of pentacles. That's fun. That's a fun discussion because we're going on this like this adventure of hanging out with traveling. We're going on a journey just like the page is setting out on a new beginning as one of the core cards. He has this promising pentacle in hand. So that's a fun little companion that I wasn't expecting to do like a mid a mid video tarot pull, but you know what? Apparently that's what spirit called for. 
Then the last thing I want to mention is while you are out and about, something that you can do to connect with your kitchen witch practice or your magical green practice is to head over to a tea shop. So when you're out and about, there's a lot of peeps around, you might be soaking up a lot of energy and a good way to sort of unwind and reconnect with self is to order an herbal tea. For me, this is almost always peppermint. If you guys watched my Kitchen Witch video a couple weeks ago, you guys know that peppermint is like one of my favorite go-tos for soothing stress, for calming anxiety. So when I am out and about, I absolutely love to grab peppermint tea and and again, these are things that you don't really need to explain as being spiritual because you just kind of also want a cup of tea, but it has that undercurrent of awareness of magical connection to your everyday witchcraft practice while you are traveling and out and about. So, oh my goodness, this has been a rambly roundabout way of discussing traveling witch things that you can bring with. Essentially, it's like a crystals, tarot cards, and goodies that help the environment, delicious tea with magical properties. These are things that really call to me in my spiritual practice, so that's why I'm highlighting them here. I would love to hear in the comment section below. I'm still holding this tarot card deck. It just wants to hang out with me all day. I would love to hear in the comment section below what things you like to bring when you are out and about, when you are a traveling witch. If you enjoyed this video, please do hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. And if you would like to come join me for Magical Journey or Lessons, this month we are exploring the magic of Imolk and all of those details are in the Patreon link below. I wish you a most wonderful day, so very many traveling witch blessings, and until we chat again, oh my goodness, I already wrapped this up, but here we go until we chat again. So very many blessings.